Hi guys, so I'm here in Manchester at the train station, Manchester Victoria, as you can see, and I'm on my way for another the day I met, and today I'm meeting Kieran Clark Skates, and I'm heading off to Ramp 1 in Warrington, and I'm going to get to know him a little better, ask a few questions, and hopefully have a great session. So. Without further ado, let's get into it. So here we are at ramp one. We've made it, and there is the man of the hour. Let's see what he's got. First try. Not quite. Age, name, and location. Hi, I'm Kieran Clark. I'm 34, and I'm from Market Arbor. It's a town in Leicestershire on the border. How long have you been skateboarding? So I've been skating for about five years now, depending on when this comes out, either been five years or coming up to five years. I've got my first board back on Halloween 2019. Um, used to skate when I was a kid from the age of about five. 13 to 17 or something like that um, initially got into it with my mate Matt Imry who if you've been watching my channel a lot uh, for a while you'll see Matt absolute legend um, I don't really know why I got stopped it's one of these weird ones where I don't remember consciously making an effort to start skate stop skateboarding I just kind of did um, which was a mistake should have carried on um, yeah so um, but yeah got back into it in 2019 my mate Martin um, who was I was stopped skating for a while, but uh, he got back into it and um, started up a, his little YouTube channel, kicked up at 30, and uh, I mean, I don't need much, didn't need much twisting my arm to get back into it, so, uh, yeah, that's that, um, I, I'm not stopping again, that's the thing. from here on in, I'm, I'm pretty familiar with that. What skate discipline do you prefer? I definitely say that I prefer street skateboarding. Um, although I mainly just skate parks, I don't go out in the streets very often. The main reason being is, I think like most of us um, in adulthood, like I don't have a lot of time to skate, and as a result, like like you go out into the streets to get to find somewhere to skate, you, there's there's so many like things that can stop you from skating, whether it's like finding a good spot and, and you know whether you getting kicked out or anything like that like i just can't bother to deal with that hassle so like i mainly just skate parks because you know the skate park is always there for me to go and skate um i have been threatening to film a proper street video for a few years now um it's something that I, I would really like to do because that's that's what i love watching with skateboarding like i, I love watching street parts um, and things like that um big fan of like skating things like mini ramp and transition and stuff um, as well but definitely would say I'm more on my lean more towards street than anything else um, certainly with the tricks and things that I want to try and do what's your current setup like this is my current setup it's uh I'm riding an eight and a half inch chocolate skateboards deck um I absolutely love going on chocolate skateboards um the boards are great I love the teams I love the videos they put out everything so yeah the last three or four decks I've rode have either been chocolate or girl boards and I can't see that changing anytime soon. Um, eight and a half, I've been on for a good couple of years now. Um, I've creeped up through the sizes from a seven and a half when I got back into skating all the way up to an eight and a half. Um, it's kind of a sweet spot for me at the moment. I can still get my foot trips around and stuff like that, but yeah, it's wide enough to give you a little bit more stability on the feet. Kind of want to try something a little bit bigger in the future. And I might set that up as a bit of like an experimental deck and just keep the eight and a half as, a, as my, my go-to. Um, truck wise, I'm on 149, I think they're 149 Thunder Hollows. Um, I, I prefer a lighter setup, so yeah, the lighter trucks um, 
I just, I just like them. Um, always used to ride indies and I broke a pair of indies. Swap to these fenders, they've been absolutely fantastic ever since. Um, trucks is one of those things that I just try and change as little as possible because I hate breaking into the trucks. Um, realistically, I don't think I'm a good enough skater to know what a good truck is versus a bad truck. So like, if I was to break these tomorrow, I'd just buy the other ones that kind of like them or the, like the price of probably more accurate and just go from there. Uh, wheel wise, I'm on 54 mil Spitfire Formula 4 99A. These are the Mark Suchu Pro models. One of my absolute favorites. Mark Suchu is an incredible skater. Um, my mate Matt Imry got these for, gave these to me as a gift. I've been riding them again for a good couple of years. Um, I can't see any reason to change them. I really love them. Um, I've been kind of playing around with the idea of buying some of these soft sliders that are kicking around on the market at the moment. It's got the, the Power Out Dragons and the Bones X formulas. Um, Spitfire just did a set as well. Um, so, like, kind of like, but at the same time, these just work for me, so I don't really want to, <laughs> I don't want to change them, basically. Uh, bearings, we've got Bronson G3s in there. These are great. Um, this is probably my third set of Bronsons. Um, they're fantastic. Um, I've tried Bones Reds. These are a little bit more expensive. I think for the extra fiver that you normally pay to jump from a Bones Red to a Bronson is worth every penny. Uh, I think they last longer, I think they're faster. Um, yeah, again, I can't. I, I just love them. I think I'm just going to keep going with them forever onwards. Um, and then I've got some hardware. Like, I just buy hardware based on um, which brands can give me a cool sticker. And then grip tape wise, uh, this is just, I don't know nondescript brand grip is black i like to do something with my grip tape um whether it's like sometimes i draw all over it um i like to get my voice to draw all over it near it or even just just cut something i don't know just something to make it a little bit interesting otherwise grips a bit boring i have tried around with like um patterned grip so i had some grizzly grip in the past and things like that they're cool um i just don't always pick them up um a lot of the time i just use whatever gets sent with the board so yeah that's my current setup um I'm really happy with it. Like I said, I've been riding a similar sort of setup for a while now. Um, I am playing around with the idea of setting up like a big, like a nine and a half wide trucks and all that sort of thing as a bit of a, a play around deck. But realistically, like I'm going to stick with this for this. Will, even if I set that up, this will still be my like my daily driver, if you will. What's your skateboarding playlist? I was like a skateboarding playlist. Um, I don't listen to music when I skate. I'm not always. I can't skate with headphones in. I don't mind there being like, like if someone had like, a, if there's a speaker on or some music at a park or something like that. That's fine. But uh, no, I can't skate with headphones. Like it freaks me out so badly. I have to be able to hear my board. So like the idea of having headphones on and skating just, yeah, it just doesn't work for me. Like I have to be able to hear and feel that. You know, hear the click of my tail and all that sort of thing. As far as like what kind of music I like, um, I'm a big metalhead basically, metalcore and that sort of thing. Although um, I think if I was skating and someone was like, oh, have a have a soundtrack, have the music on for me to skate to, I would probably like pick songs from skate videos that I like. Like, um, well, you know, like if I was out skating and someone was like, oh, throw on a playlist, I'd probably be like, oh, put on like the Yeah Right soundtrack. Or, you guess it's pretty sweet. So, do you know what I mean? Like that kind of thing. Like I love. I think for me, like the music that I enjoy listening to, um, like generally, like heavy metal and things like that. That's kind of a kind of. It's almost like separate to skateboarding, where skateboarding to me has its own soundtrack, and that's from those videos that I, those skate videos that I absolutely love. Favorite trick you can land, and your dream trick. Ah, oh, yes, that's such a that's such a hard question. Like, um, Backside kick flip, kick flips. I guess like I, I like flip tricks. Those two are ones that I can do pretty consistently, and like just they always will feel really good. Um, so yeah, probably something like that. I also I learned varial heels at one point, and I absolutely loved them. I felt so sick, and I remember saying to myself, "I'll oh, make a point. Don't lose these." And I've had them on ever since. So. Um, yeah, I guess I suppose if I had to say like a favourite trick, if someone was like, "Oh, what's your favourite trick you can do?" I'd probably just say a kick flip. You know, I, I love the fact that I can do that and the fact that I can do it pretty consistently. As far as a dream trick, I mean, there's like there's so many. Like I could pick a different one for every single different different obstacle, but 
if I could wake up tomorrow and with like like and just be able to bust out a 360 flip, I'd be so happy. That that's probably the one. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, as much as I'd like, I'd love to be able to do so so many other things as well. But like, 360 flip is probably like the biggest biggest dream for a trip for me. I think certainly when I was a kid, I kind of held that as like the gold standard. Like, I didn't know anybody who could do a 360 flip. I don't think. I ever saw a 360 flip in person. I only ever saw them on like all the pro videos. So to me, like that, that is the pro trick. Dream skate location and companion. You could skate anywhere in the world. Um, the answer is probably going to be pretty obvious. It would be I'd go to California to skate. That's where the industry's from. That's where like so many of these tricks and videos that I used to watch from. Like that would be the one. And I take my mate Matt Emery with me. <laughs> Me and Matt, have, uh, we threatened like a bunch of times to go to California when we were kids, no escape. And uh, ever since we both got back into it, we often threatened to do the same <laughs> and just abandon our children <laughs> and our wives to run off to California to escape. Um, but yeah, that so that will be that will probably be the one. Like to go to California um, and skate with Matt would be awesome. Or so many other places that I'd love to go. Like I always want to go to Barcelona and skate. Um, Anyone who's ever seen the Santa Cruz out there video, and that's pretty much exclusive for them in Barcelona. I can't remember when that came out, early 2000s, but I remember getting that video and watching it and just being blown away. And I, the main thing I remember that is like when I was growing up, America seemed completely out of reach. Like, it seemed like a place that was impossible to get to. Um, whereas Barcelona didn't feel like it was that far. So seeing that video, it was like, oh wow, man, that, that's doable. Like, we, we could make it there. Never did, never have to this point. What motivates you more, watching pros or skaters at your level? As far as like what motivates me skating wise, like I definitely get a lot of motivation. Um, I love watching pro videos. Like I, I absolutely adore them. Um, whether it's older ones that were out when I was a kid that I loved then and still love now, things like Blind What If, um, Elements, Elementality, Girl Yeah Right, um, Kai Fully Flared, all these ones to more mod like even more modern ones. Um, Chocolate Bunny Hop is a classic, I absolutely love it. Um, Dickie's Honeymoon, which only came out like a few weeks ago, incredible video. Like, I just love watching those videos. I really, really adore, love them, um, and they get me hyped to go skate. Even though it's not, not anywhere near my, like it's, it's so above and beyond my level, and probably anything I'll ever be capable of. I guess for me, like just seeing what is possible, like lights that fire of like, okay, let's, let's go do this. Like. Um, Quite often before I go on a skate, if you want an idea of like a video that really like gets me going, um, if you um, check out Justin Eldridge's pretty sweet remix, it's not his part from that video because a lot of the skaters in that video, there's so many guys on Chocolate and Girl at the time that they will have their parts like condensed and shortened down. And um, later on, they they put out like, um, a remix of Justin Eldridge's part with not just his clips that were in the video, but other clips that. Realistically, like would have been in any other video ever that good. Um, go and watch that part. Like that is one of my go-to's before I go out and skate. I'll put that on. It's like maybe four minutes. Um, and it's just awesome. It's incredible. Um, it's filmed amazingly. Great music, and it just gets me super hyped to go out and skate. So yeah, that's that. That's what motivates me more. I love watching our community's videos. Um, they're amazing. Um, they're like watching my crew, my, my friends skate, uh, which is awesome. But in terms of like what gets me going, gets my juices ready, what wants me, makes me want to go out and skate, it's definitely more pro videos. So, yeah, sorry about that, guys. I love you all still. To finish. Do you have any motivational words? Finishing off like some motivational words or anything like that. I mean, I don't, I don't really know what to say apart from like just, just, like, just go and enjoy it. Like, I, I think I get in my head way too much about skateboarding too often. Like, there's a, a certain level that I think I should be at, or you know, things I should be able to do. Um, like, skateboarding is really hard, and it's like, it's mentally more difficult than it is physically difficult. And I think for me, like that's. That's a real frustrating thing. I feel like physically I'm capable of so much more, but my head holds me back 
So I think for like anyone out there, it's like just 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 enjoy it. Like whenever whenever skateboarding is going the best for me is when I forget about progress, forget about pushing myself, don't worry about what I can or can't do. I like just 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 ride and just enjoy it and go for it. And that's when I tend to find myself making those leaps in progression. I think it's just because I'm not beating myself up. Um, you know, about it. Like it, it's there to be enjoyed and we should just just, just go for it. Like so yeah, I mean that's more of a motivation message myself than to anyone else. If that helps anyone else, great. But uh, you know, for me when I'm watching this back, like just just enjoy it. Don't worry, it doesn't matter how good you are, just just go and have fun. Like it's good fun. That's what it's supposed to be. So yeah, that's it.